a father of fathers of kids. Ah, oh, this one too. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. There's a distinction. See, not fathers of grown ups like you are. No, I don't care about you know, <laughs> you, you are grown and your father is there. No, the kids, you know, the fathers. The father of, of fathers, fathers of kids. Hey. I'm glad that even when I give your position to someone, you haven't resigned. Uh, uh, no, I won't. <laughs> See, bet right. Uh, don't change. Don't change the status quo. You know, there's a lot. I'm, to not, I'm just very grateful to you. <laughs> no, I will not. That, that you haven't resigned. No, as for me, hey, me, I mean, I'm a president. I mean, you because, because like, even if we make someone else president, you will resign. I'm still a president. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Rollins is still president. Let's Rollins. get into the headlines, you know. You know, coming up in the Joy Sports Center, um, there's only one name trending in the sports um, sporting world, and this is the man. Did I disappoint you or let you down? And it's Asamoa Gyan who arrived unmarked at the near post who's headed home. Here's a chase for Gian. he's one on two. It is Gian. he's in the area, he scores! Gian Era back in front, a goal of individual brilliant River Samoa Gian. Asamoa Gian has the opportunity to send Ghana into the semi-finals of the World Cup and he hits the bar! Unbelievable! What a miss! Inside for John. Ah! Far post, shredding the defense and beating Ikrami. It's one nothing Ghana. Asamoah strikes and draws first blood for the Black Stars. Through to Chan, who's onside. It's Asamoah Chan. It's two one Ghana. Ah, my lover. Goodbye, my. F- yeah, so. Asamoah says he's quitting the Black Stars permanently, and one man who splits it. So Okunfu Dunfu, how do you, what's the English, um, the word for Okunfu Dunfu? The English expression for Okunfu Dunfu. Okunfu Dunfu. Killer Grace Giver. I think it's, uh, <laughs> I think, is it Jekyll and Hyde? Jekyll and Hyde will fit. Yeah, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Yeah, you know, Jekyll and Hyde will fit Asamoah Jan. But also in the program. Can your father in, in the Lord, T.B. Joshua, guide us to a fifth Nations Cup trophy? I believe if we allow ourselves and contact him and ask him, Daddy, please, he wants you to uh, back it with your players. He will do that. Well, Lekinson talking about um, TB Joshua in the Joy Sports Center this All right. morning. All right. Anyway, Asamoah last night um, made known his desire not to continue playing for Ghana again based on a decision taken by head coach Kwesi Apia ahead of the Africa Cup of Nations. He accepts of Jan's statement. Asamoah released a statement on his Twitter handle around 5 p.m. announcing his decision to leave the national team permanently. Per the statement, Jan is not happy with a decision from Coach Kwesi Apia Hensi's decision to leave. According to him, and I quote, If the decision of the coach is to give the captaincy of the tournament to another player while I am named in the team for the tournament, I wish to excuse myself from the tournament. I also wish to retire from the national team permanently, not pretending my presence will not fuel the purported undermining the country has seen under my captaincy. I would continue to serve the country Ghana in other endeavors as a businessman through various investments. And as Samoa Jan's spokesperson Obin Kweku, popularly known as Maestro, says Jan is not worried but feels betrayed. He had a call from the head coach of the national team trying to impress upon him to come public that he's no more interested in wearing the armband for the national team as we prepare for AFCON and that he should hand over to his deputy, the DIU. And unwillingly, I mean, uh, you can't hear it anywhere where you are moving for a tournament, your substantive captain is not injured, he's part of the team and we are forcing him to retire the captain's armband to uh, the deputy. And he thinks that it is a big betrayal to him as a skipper. That is why he did a couple of consultations and decided to call it quit to the national team. Asamajan says he can't take it any longer. Uh, reactions are coming in. A lot of you reacted to that on social media. Some ex-footballers have also reacted to Jan's retirement. Sam Johnson insists the timing is wrong and fears it could have a negative impact on Ghana's preparations for the AFCON. 
Yeah, it may, it may be. It may be, you know, because why I'm saying that, you know, Ghanaians, we don't know what we want, my brother. A lot of people in, on, on, on radio, everywhere, saying, oh, he's too old, we should give the young boys chance. Now he said he's, uh, he has resigned. That one also is, we're thinking about how effect is going to affect the team. You understand me? What do we want? What do we want? We are talking about the timing. But when we are talk, say, tell, tell, uh, pushing him, he's, he's old, he's that, he's this, he's that, you know. Nobody is talking about uh, timing, you know. So this is this is how it's going to be, and it's going to be like that every time, and we are going to go back every time, you know. So as for the effect, yeah, it, will, it, will, it will affect the team, like I, I'm saying from the beginning. Some of them will be there; they like him to be around them because of the way maybe he motivates them and whatever, you know. So definitely, it's going to affect some of them, but they should know that they have a duty. You know, on our pages, that's the draw online, um, my draw online. There is an article written, um, and it's clearly um, stating thoughts of. Um, uh, the reactions that have come in you know good riddance as much as saying he wouldn't be at africa cup of nations but you can um, have your say also on our pages and um, by sending your thought joy and um, the hashtag is um, joy afcon and this will build up to the naming of the squad we don't know if today we Pia will announce the 30 man provisional squad but after selecting the right players for the tournament in egypt goalkeeper trainer richard kenson believes the next thing will be having the right dose of spiritual backing to win a fifth Nations Cup title. Kensen, who coached Division 2 side Emmanuel FC, a team owned by the Synagogue Church of Nations, to win the 64-team Jordan and Nagla tournament at the weekend for 38 teams in the Greater Accra region, is recommending his pastor, T.B. Joshua. I believe if we allow ourselves and contact him and ask him, Daddy, Please, we want you to uh, back it with your players. He will do that. Are, are we refusing to accept that we need a spiritual enhancement to win the Nations Cup? Yes, we need everything, including hard work. We need everything. Because I told you from the beginning, what has a name as a spirit? What must we do spiritually by bringing in your father in the Lord? What will be the process? Uh, if the team or the nation send me i will go my father in the lord doesn't take money from anybody no everything is free from his act because he always say that uh, i am not the healer i am not god i am not the faith christ i am his servant what what my, uh, my master says what i do so he's not taking he's not charging anybody and he does not charge anybody boss. so he's not charging it's free Richard Olile Kinson there. And now to the Afcon Minutes with them this morning. Baba Anto has the details. Football together. Referees will be heading to Egypt for the 2019 Total African Cup of Nations. Ghana has just won representation in the passing of Daniel Laie. The 32-year-old officiated at the 2018 Champ Tournament and the 2017 Wafu Cup of Nations. In all, there will be 56 referees at the AFCON, with Egypt and Tunisia having the biggest representations of five personnel each. Algeria, Sudan, Senegal, Cameroon and Morocco will have three referees each in the competition. The referees were selected from 34 countries across the continent. Follow the hashtag JoyAFCON2019 on social media. Salam. So you heard Baba Tando there with the AFCON Minute and it's on every morning and still talking about the players to be named um, for um, the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations. Um, House of Folk coach Kim Grant believes his captain, Fatah Mohamed, deserves a place in the provisional team following his impressive showcase for his side in the nominalization special competition. I'll, I'll hope so because it shows that we're doing the right thing and uh, I hope that this, this man next to me uh, gets a chance, you know, because he's a very, very good player, uh, and it's a great opportunity for them, and uh, same as the other boys. And I, I really hope that they, one or two or three of these boys, get an opportunity to show what they can do, because um, they've been, you know, they've been in Ghana for, for a little bit, but you know, this is a great chance for them, and uh, I'll be more than happy for these boys to go because <laughs> he's worked extremely hard. He works fantastic well for the club uh, and for the team, and. Um, He's a good leader, so I'm, I'm really pleased for him. And I hope that he does go and uh, one or two or the other. 
You know, so it's getting more exciting as we build up to Saturday's Joy Sports Invitational Tournament. Now, First National Bank is on board as a sponsor. The bankers are ably supported by um, Dulet Yogurt and also Kuhn Professional Makeup. But this morning, we focus on Gassem. Gassem! 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 No, it's 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 the same Gasem, you know. Fifty-two years, uh, we've been in the market selling cement, consistently quality, consistently quality cement. But in addition to that, we, we come together and when we go to the field, we just transfer what we know to be producing cement in the quality that we, we produce our cement with and transfer it to the field of play. And you have seen us in this for, for since it started and we, we've always been there. So you know what we'll say, all those of you who are running your mouth, keep running your mouth, just run your mouth. We will come and just do the do, that's all. In fact, last year, you guys showed us skills here that we thought we had never seen before. But Charlie, in the end... You want to ask Barcelona what happened to them <laughs> when they choked against a certain Liverpool? <laughs> in the game, sometimes you can be leading 3-0 and you can be beating 4-0. But you see, we never give up until the bones are rotten. <laughs> I have some unfortunate news from our friends from Gassem. I know they are listening to them. Red one. Yeah, what is it? Um, our guest striker has just confirmed. And our guest striker is someone who can fire a shot through cement blocks. So I'm sorry. No matter what kind of defense Gassem is coming with, Charlie. We are good to go. I mean, no pastration. Like somebody <laughs> said. Hey, see, Gassem. Okay, run your mouth. Everybody is doing. But no, May 25, right? This Saturday. Bema Camp. Bema Camp. There. A grown form. We'll see, you know, how it all unfolds. But then um, it's getting intense. The build-up is on throughout the day. And um, you can check out on television and also online as we post the videos on um, the corporate bodies gathering for that biggest sporting event. We're bringing it to you and it's going to be a blast. Thank you very much, Ridwan Ibrahim Asante, for bringing us the latest in sports. We call it the Joy Sports Center. We're going to thank...